Yeah. <laughs> I got it. You know, since since you're the one that he he so desperately asked to help find. No, 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 no. You're not getting, getting off on the hook stuff. on this one, Drew. You're as much involved in this as I am. In fact, you knew there was going to be trouble the minute you offered Jesse this job. Don't even go there, okay? Because if you had never done your big hovering number... Me? I hover? Yeah, you do, like a lovesick puppy all over <sighs> Jesse, okay? You are the reason we are in this mess. Damn it, Drew! You know what? I... Oh. Danny, you know what? Hi. Hi. What are you, what are you doing here today? Look, don't I still work here? Yeah. But we're closed for a private Thanksgiving party. All the staff should have gotten a call. Okay. Um, well, no problem. I just, you know, I left a book here. I'm going to get it, and I'll take off. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. All right, what if we are looking at this all wrong? I mean, what if I do what he wants, and then can nobody... This is going to be a, a difficult holiday for you. Is that better? So, why don't you stay here and have dinner? I thought that there was a private party. Well, there is a private party, but it's mine, actually. And, um, it's just going to be a bunch of friends and family. Nothing fancy, but it's going to be fun. Thanks. Yeah, my family's, uh, not exactly in a giving thanks kind of mode. They're, uh, we're still struggling with mixed death really hard. Yeah, I'm sure. So I think I will stick around. Good, good. Also, uh, I've, I've been thinking about what you asked me about helping you find your brother's killer. And I think I can help after all. Wow. Well, there's a 180. Why the change of heart? And don't get me wrong, I, I, mean, I really appreciate any help that you can give me. And... Since you hang out here a lot, you must have noticed something. People come in and go in, not just Mick, maybe other people. You must have noticed something unusual. Right. Well, see, that's just it. Um, the more I think about it, the more I'm remembering something that was unusual. Um, what? Or someone, rather. Uh, it was this real hard-looking character that hung around Mick the day he was uh, died. Hard-looking? Yeah, shady. Really? Well, how old did you, uh, did you get a I, name? I don't know. No, I didn't. Do you think that this guy and Mick were friends? I, I don't know, maybe. But uh, they did fight a lot. I know that. Really? Well, that's... Wow, that's very interesting, Michelle. Only thing is, I don't believe one word you're saying. Michelle, trying to scam me. What makes you think that? Look at your hands. They're shaking all over the place. You're nervous about something. I'm... Aren't you? Oh. Hi, let's get a hand into the Hi, you promised to give me I know I did. I will. I promise. I'm so bummed. You're bummed. Why? Then I can't have dinner here. This place is so cool. And there are so many more cool places to go and see. So let's go before I have to get you home for dinner. Come on. Okay, bye. <laughs> get out of here. Thank you, Michelle. Bye, Michelle. Those are cute kids. Yeah. They really seem to like you. Why are you surprised? I'm pretty tight around here. Yeah, I noticed, which is why, Michelle, I don't buy your big fable about my brother and Mr. Shady Character. But I do think you know more than you're telling me. So let's think back, let's think really hard, and see if we can come up with some little incident or some little clue that I can go on. What is it? Do you think that I have this magic? 
magical crystal ball that I can look into and tell you what happened to Mick? I saw him with some guy. That's all I know. That's all I saw. I don't know how many times I have to tell you that. I want you to tell me the truth, Michelle. Okay, fine. You want the truth so bad, you got it. I'm going to tell you exactly about your brother. This that nobody could stand, Mick. The truth is that nobody even wanted to be in the same room with him, let alone work with him. Now, I'm sorry that your brother's dead. But I'm not sorry he's gone from our lives. And that is why nobody went to his funeral. Well, I didn't realize you hated Mick that much. Tell me, Michelle, who else hated Mick? Oh, Danny, are you ever going to stop? You know, you come in here muscling around, badgering us with questions, scaring us to death. You told me you don't want me to cringe every time you look at me. Why the hell shouldn't I? For God's sake, your brother was dealing drugs in here. What he did was wrong. You don't think that murdering him was wrong? I... Look, we've all lost somebody that we love, okay? My mom died when I was young. She was in a car accident. I'm sorry, it's not the same thing. I'm just saying that I understand what you're going through. I get it, okay? But I'm sick of dealing with you. Just leave me alone. Hey, 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 hey. Get the hell out of here, man. Well, I've been invited to stay for dinner, Jesse. It'd be rude to leave. Really? All right. How about I throw you out? What? You got a problem? Look, I will do whatever the hell I have to, to keep you away from Michelle. It's been a, a very enlightening day. I'll have to take a rain check on dinner. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Drew. I can answer for myself. But what were you doing along with Danny anyway? I... We were just talking. I kind of figured if... If we knew what he was thinking and doing, we could keep tabs on him. Look, I don't want you keeping tabs or anything else up. Okay. I don't want you near, near that guy, all right? All right. I wish Mick could stay dead and buried, you know? I couldn't help it over here. You are talking about the guy that was murdered, right? Did he used to work here? Yeah. yeah, he was a bartender for us. But I thought I read somewhere that, that he was arrested before he, he died, isn't that? Yeah, he was, but some men you just can't keep behind bars, Jenna. There's no prison that can hold them. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you're right about that, Drew. Hey, here you are. You look kind of pale. No, uh... Yes, Michelle, of course I'm all right. <laughs> of course I'm all right. I'm going to take the kids, and I'm going to go. Okay? Okay. Uh, girls, Rita, Lizzie. I, um, I told them to stay right behind me. How come they're not right here? Uh, oh, dear God. Well, they can't have gotten far. No, no, they, they, they couldn't have gotten far. You're absolutely right. Please, could you help me? Because if, if they have... Oh, God. I can't find them. told me about the girls being They're missing. There's no sign of them anywhere. I don't know how this could happen. Okay, okay. What if I'm right? Right about what? Danny was pretty mad earlier at me, and Jesse practically threw him out of here. The girls turned up missing after that. You think Danny took the girls? 
don't know what's a picture. That's it. I'm calling the cops. Jenna! Jenna, what is this? What? Marina and Lizzie, they're pissing. They're calling you. What? what? Where were they? Who was with them last? I was. This is all my fault. I think Danny Santo took the two girls. Well, A, because he's been hanging around here since his brother died, and B, because he forced Drew, the club's owner, to hire him as a bartender so he could keep an eye on things. Did you see this Danny character with the girls earlier? No, but... There's something wrong, ma'am. Why are you asking me so many bloody questions? Shouldn't we be out there looking for these children? Yes, it's true. You know, every hour they're missing means you're less likely to find them. I didn't mean to upset you. Not only did we kill Mick now, we're responsible for two little girls missing. Don't get ahead of yourself. The girls may have just wandered off. And what if they didn't, Bill? What if Danny actually took them? God, we know what he's capable of. What if he took them just to make a point? <laughs> Look who I found hanging around outside. What did you do with those kids? Tell me. Yes, Maida, why don't you um, just take the boys and meet me over at the... I know you're angry with these people. Yeah, so I kidnapped a couple of kids. I always do that when I'm in a place like that. Don't get smart with me. One of those kids is my daughter. I'm sorry, man. Relax. Lighten up. Listen, listen, please. Please, we'll give you anything you want. Just tell us Look, where they are. I didn't please. touch those kids. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't even know why you're even asking me. Check my record. It's clean, man. I just came back here to get a book, though. That's, that's all we got if you're lying to me. Jenna, Jenna, is there any, any sign of the Oh, I'm so sorry. We'll just keep looking until we do. Let's go. Come on. Lizzie? Lizzie? Marina? Marina? Lizzie? 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 Marina? Lizzie? 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 Lizz
sorry too, Danny. We all owe you a big apology. Yeah. Thank you. I'm sorry. 